Hello everyone, it's uh, the 24th of June, uh, just thought I'd uh, record a little update uh, for you all. Do remember that uh, lots of these uh, uh, videos, video content from the Zoom gatherings on a Sunday, um, uh, other videos are going up onto the YouTube channel and you can get to that channel either through the uh, church website, the, the network website, which is ccbn.org.uk, uh, or straight to YouTube and just type in CCBN, um, and it should take you to uh, our YouTube channel. Um, lots of interesting stuff on there, um, uh, uh, so do keep an eye on these videos, obviously, um, go there. Um, uh, you'll be very aware that um, over the uh, uh, the last couple of days there have been uh, a flurry of announcements from the government about uh, lifting of restrictions. Uh, there's been some encouraging uh, news about the way in which um, it seems like uh, COVID is uh, being brought under greater control. Um, uh, 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 that is encouraging. Um, there's still very significant dangers, and uh, and the government uh, is is making clear those uh, those dangers, uh, and uh, and we have to be very serious about that as well. Um, the Church of England is 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 seeking to respond in um, in in the right kind of ways, um, uh, and uh, we are uh, operating under the guidance um, issued by the Church of England. So we're going to, we, uh, and 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 that means that we're going to take things in a measured and careful way, as we seek to, uh, uh, you know, to to uh, return to uh, some ways of gathering. Now it's going to take a while, uh, and um, uh, and so for the time being, it's going to be about uh, um, uh, simply kind of doing the uh, Sunday Zooms and other ways in which we've learned how to interact at this stage. Um, uh, we're going to uh, uh, gradually open up things like the cafe to see how that goes uh, and, um, uh, and, and, and just kind of begin to operate in kind of careful ways. But remember, it's all uh, uh, in the interest of, uh, of health and well-being, uh, we want everyone to be safe and so we're going to take our time in sorting uh, that out. Uh, uh, I wouldn't expect for some time that there'll be anything like uh, what we, how we were gathering and what we were doing um, before uh, lockdown happened. Um, and uh, even as the restrictions lift, I think things are going to look different. Uh, so uh, it's a new adventure. There's lots of change, lots of things to navigate. Um, let's uh, uh, let's continue to be patient. Um, uh, uh, we, we've been talking at, at PCC, uh, 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 the Church Council, about uh, our vision as a church going into uh, a COVID and post-COVID time, uh, and um, and how we adjust uh, to the new opportunities and the challenges. Uh, and we've been talking about a statement of vision, which is, uh, w which is a statement kind of saying uh, that we're about living the gospel uh, and serving the health and the well-being of the community, of the communities that we're part of. Uh, living the gospel, serving the health and well-being of the communities. Um, and, um, uh, and I think that's really important uh, at the moment. You know, COVID-19 has told us all that our health is under threat. Um, we've seen thousands upon thousands of deaths as a result of, uh, of, this, um, uh, of, of this pandemic. Um, uh, we, it has made a massive difference and it's made us all really think uh, about health and well-being. Uh, now, that presents us with all sorts of challenges, but also all sorts of great opportunities. Um, and, uh, and, and I encourage you to, to think about those opportunities, to pray about them, to pray about how you're uh, living the gospel out in your own, uh, your own life and, and, and with others. Uh, maybe if you're part already of a, uh, of a Bible discovery group that... Uh, um, that you'll just kind of bear this in mind as you're interact with the, in, interacting with the Bible together, 
um, as you're um, here listening to God together um, uh, but you know just just keep listening out because God's gonna have things to say about how you and how I and how we together uh, uh, serve the health and the well-being uh, of the community in which uh, we are set and in which we serve um, how do we live the gospel um, so there's big new challenges and big opportunities for living the gospel that are being presented to us now and are going to come in this next season uh, uh, this this period of time that we're beginning to um, enter into uh, I'm, I'm thrilled that uh, uh, Reverend Ollie, Ollie Preston is going to be joining us uh, uh, from uh, sometime over the summer or, uh, or early autumn. Um, we were able to announce that last Sunday. It's been a long time developing um, uh, and we've been uh, looking at that role and praying for the right person to fill that role uh, for uh, really kind of probably the best part of 18 months. Uh, and um, and it's really timely that Ollie um, and his family are going to be joining us uh, as as he seeks to explore what it is that God is calling for him to do amongst the those generations that stretch out around the twenties, thirties, forties age group. And uh, uh, and I'm thrilled that uh, this is happening and very excited. Uh, there's going to be all sorts of uh, uh, things to come uh, through that, but. Uh, um, uh, uh, it, it would be great to welcome Ollie and his wife Jo and Betty and Caden, their two young children, as they join us. Yes, things are changing, there's new opportunities coming, and yes, we have really, really grappled with significant uh, issues uh, and challenges and decisions. Um, uh, so uh, I want to encourage you to be prayerful and thoughtful around things to look up uh, and look to Jesus uh, and uh, and to be encouraged in seeking to be those who live the gospel out in your daily lives that's the call for all of us um, to be people who serve the health and the well-being of, of Bridlington and the wider area <laughs>